Meanwhile, the splash on the Australian tomorrow, global fears over strikes in pipeline. The threat of strikes at three of Australia's biggest LNG plants has sparked fears of a fresh global energy shock as gas companies were warned to tread carefully dealing with unions linked to the Albanese government. Lise, I can already feel you. You are very passionate when it comes to energy, specifically being a Queenslander. What's your take uh, on mm. this? Did you see this coming? Well, I just think it's rather ironic, isn't it? We've spent you know, years now in an increasingly loud noise from the Greens and, and others in society saying how bad gas is in particular and, and demonising it. And now suddenly it's, you know, a front page splash and, oh, my goodness, you know, the world's going to come to an end because we're not going to have that, possibly have the LNG that we need to meet 10% of the demand that we're meant to be out there meeting. So I think, if anything, this signifies, signifies how important our, our gas sector is. It's worth an estimated $13 billion dollars in taxes and royalties in the, in the next year. So I don't know. I just think it's very interesting that you've got the unions now holding the, the industry to ransom, if you like, and the flow-on effects are going to be felt, as you say, around the world because that's a, that's a large amount of gas and there'll be a lot of people uh, very jittery on the, the global market mm. watching what is going to happen in Australia. But again, it's you know, more trouble caused by the unions. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see because you can't have an energy transition without power behind it to, to move that through.